Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I have a really nice story to share with you. I hope you benefit. So there's this man, he was a traveler. He was traveling by and then he didn't have any food with him. So he saw an apple tree. And when he saw the apple tree, he was hungry. So he picked the apple and he ate half of the apple. And before he could finish it, he remembered it wasn't his. And he felt bad about it so he didn't finish eating all the apple he left the remaining half and then he went and sought out the owner of that apple tree to get permission for eating the apple so he saw a man and he asked him hey i ate half of the apple may i have permission for eating the apple and finishing it the guy said hey i'm sorry i am not the owner of this apple tree and my employer is the owner and he lives in so and so building so go to him and ask permission for only he can forgive you and give you permission for finishing the apple so he went and sought out the king so he was a king a man who owned a lot of land so he went and sought out the owner and he said hey i apologize i was traveling i was hungry and i ate half of this apple and i have the remainder can you forgive me and give me permission to complete it? And the guy said, hey, uh, he said, first put down the, the half that you didn't eat. And he said, I will only forgive you for the half that you ate if you complete my request. So the king basically put a stipulation out. If you want to get permission for me to finish the apple, this is what you have to do. So he was a believer, a Muslim believer. So he said, sure, what do I need to do? So he said, you need to marry my daughter in order for you to get my forgiveness and for me to forgive you. Otherwise, on judgment day, you will have to be questioned for eating something that wasn't yours. And subhanAllah, like how many of us really get permission to do things we want to do or may Allah forgive us. But anyways, he went, he thought about it. He said, you know, I don't want Allah to judge me for this or not to forgive me so I'm going to marry his daughter and then before the king completed that request he said my daughter does not see so she cannot see my daughter doesn't have limbs and my daughter cannot hear so the man was like oh my god for eating this small apple half of the apple I need to marry this king's daughter that cannot see cannot hear nor have limbs because he was a true believer, he said, yes, I will marry your daughter to gain your permission. And the king said, once the nikah, once the marriage is uh, completed, then I will forgive you for that apple. So they, long story short, they did the marriage. He married her. And then the king said, now I forgive you for eating that apple, that half apple. So now that you're married to my daughter, her room is there. Go ahead and, you know, she's your wife. Go ahead and meet your wife, basically. So he went to meet his wife, and then he was just like, SubhanAllah, I can't pass my salam to this woman, for she cannot hear me, and she can't see me, and she doesn't have any limbs. Like, what terrible thing could I have done to, like, you know, attain this? Basically, he was like, you know, tawakkalallah, he had... You know faith in Allah so he went and he basically passed his salam he went in the room he says salam alaikum and then he was just shocked to encounter this beautiful young woman she was very beautiful she had sight she had hearing and she had you know she was complete she had her limbs and this man was so surprised like subhanAllah like well, your dad you know didn't tell me the full story like your dad you know basically lied to me and then she said no don't speak about my father and for that's not correct just ask me what what happened between my dad and you and then I will tell you and then he said basically he said your dog your dad your dad said you couldn't see you couldn't hear and you didn't have any limbs she said this is what my dad meant I can't see but I use my sight for good you know I you I'd never looked at anything that was haram that was sinful I always use my sight for what is righteous and what is pleasing to Allah I don't hear 
I don't hear anything but something that's pleasing to Allah, you know? So I don't use my hearing for haram. I use it for what's halal. So I don't hear anything that's not halal. And I don't use my limbs for haram. So I don't go any places that Allah isn't happy about, isn't pleased with. And that's what my father meant, you know? I am righteous. I listen to my parents and I don't do anything haram. Then he was surprised and then subhanAllah, like this guy was blessed with a beautiful, righteous wife for an act that he did and he was forgiven. And then, you know, they lived happily ever after. And then they actually had one of the imams, one of the righteous imams. If you know the story, let me know. And then hearing it was like, wow, you know, how many of us, you know, once we do a sin, no one's perfect. Allah has created us eh, to make sense. But the best of us are the ones that repent to him. So like how many of us did anything haram and, you know, never asked and sought for forgiveness from Allah's creation? Moral of the story, you know, do good. And if you do end up sinning or doing something that's not halal, you know, ask Allah for forgiveness. Ask Allah to guide you and lead you on the right path. And then if you sin upon, if you sin against a Muslim or against any Allah's creation, you know, ask for forgiveness for it's better for you to ask for forgiveness in this world than the next. But that was the story that I found super enlightening. And I hope you did too. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.